Hello and uh, hello and welcome to the epidemiology and statistic for MOPI of 4600. <clears throat> In this course, uh, we are going to work on understanding epidemiology and the research methods, which is very basic in the beginning. Then we go more to defining the type of variables and how to describe them. And uh, this is the univariate uh, analysis part of the study that if you were in MOBIO 4000, you already had this information, but we go through them one more time. And then we continue with bivariate analysis based on type of variables and purpose of analysis and different tests that uh, if it's necessary to be parametric or non-parametric. And finally, something new, you are going to learn about multivariate analysis, which is mostly used for prediction of the outcome variables or adjusting variables. Both of them are possible. And this is the regression analysis that we are talking about. A definition for epidemiology, maybe you had it with me before. Uh, the question is why, for example, smoking is uh, not allowed in the public area, public places. And then if you ask even the people who are not in the uh, epidemiology or public health or health sector, they will give you a correct answer. They will say that this is because of the lung disease that's happening, even the passive smoking. Therefore, the smoking is not good. And this is the decision of the government. This is a public health issue. And then understanding of such public health issue needs really a lot of research. All these researches for understanding public health issue are actually uh, based on the epidemiology. Epidemiology is the science behind the researches for understanding public health problems. And everything started with a question. Which is this question is a problem in the society somewhere regarding health that uh, based on some observations happened and now we are going to gather some information and this gathering information is the part we are talking about the research method for example is it a cross-sectional is it a cohort or case control or randomized control trial this gathering information uh, give us the variables and then we are going to do the analysis and for analysis we really really need to get help from the uh, computer and uh, programs that are working with the SPSS the result of all this hard work is publishing an article and publishing an article is giving information about what we found to the world and the people start to read it and this is a part that generate other questions, a new question that's supposed to go to the same process again and again until the amount of knowledge that we have is satisfactory and we can answer the question and solve the problem. Well, if we uh, just think about that, how important is to be able to read an article, you can see it in this diagram. Because if you are not able to read an article, it's really difficult for you to write any paper, even your thesis, that you are probably having it ahead of yourself. There are many good reasons to read an article. And there are uh, some videos I made uh, available on the YouTube that you can look at about how to read an article. And also, we are working in this course with a little bit of the SPSS, but SPSS is not something that is coming to the exam how to use it the result in the SPSS are important but how to work with SPSS is something that you are working with the computer and is a skill that you can uh, learn it or you can use some books uh, and uh, uh, go through the process of the SPSS in regarding reading and articles, I just put some points here from previous lecture that you can read and then we probably are going to discuss about how to read an article later. If you have any question, you can also just ask me through the email or if we have some gathering uh, digitally, then I can answer you. But the next slide is about the... Uh, 
and uh, you should also learn that how we are gathering the data so to understand it and make it easier we categorize it to the observational and experimental the only type of experimental uh, quantitative study is the randomized controlled trial or RCT and by this the researcher manipulating the system manipulating the uh, uh, outcome to be able to see how the uh, for example a risk factor will be, will be reduced or how a drug is working on the other hand the observational can be divided into two groups of descriptive and analytic and the only descriptive observational which is the most passive type of the research is the cross-sectional studies cross-sectional studies is good to have a prevalence of a event or a disease or in a, in a population of the interest while analytical studies is more thinking about finding the risk factors uh, by observation which have two part of it we have case control and the cohort no matter what what kind of research we are doing the part that we get out of those uh, researches are the data and data here in the form of variables that are different from each other this is why we call it variable we have two type of variables categorical and metric the categorical variable can be divided to nominal and ordinal the ordinal uh, categorical variable are those that we can rank them but the nominal we cannot rank them and uh, the way that we explaining as univariate is easy we explain them only through the uh, percentage or proportion but the metric is the one which is a little bit more difficult to, for univariate we have two type of them discrete or continuous and sometimes discrete continuous and metric all of them can be called continuous just to make it easier and the part that become very important about the metric is the uh, existence of the normal distribution and based on this normal distribution we also have two type of analysis if we want to do the uh, do the uh, analysis for the bivariate or multivariate and this is parametric and non-parametric this is a general picture and introduction that you learned so far try to understand it before we go to the next lecture thank you for listening